friends. Since it's Friday and it's a snow day, we're just gonna do kind of a mixture lesson. So for reading and some social studies, we're gonna read The Scrambled States of America, which is also a board game that I recommend. So first, what state do we live in? Of all the states here, I'll tell you we live near the middle in this purple one in Missouri, the scrambled states of America. Hi there, I'm Sam. I'm assuming since you opened this book that you're in the mood to hear a story. Well, you're in luck because I have a story for you. It's a little story about this fine country of ours. I bet you thought you'd heard them all, but not many people know this one. Ohio says, let me tell it. And Colorado says, oh, oh, let me, let me. No, no, you two, that part is my job. Now get back in your places. We're about to start the story. Aren't they cute? Let's, them a, let's give them a couple of seconds to get back into position. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Okay, turn the page. I could have told it, the star says. Well, it was just your basic ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. States all over the country were waking up, having their first cups of coffee, reading the morning paper, and enjoying the beautiful sunrise. Up there a ways, connected to Canada, Alaska, the largest state in the U.S.A. And then this one says, down there a ways, 2,100 miles southwest of California is Hawaii. And it says, wake up, sleepyheads. All the states, that is, except for Kansas, he was not feeling happy at all. How do I know this? Because he said, I'm not feeling happy at all. Close up of Kansas. Oh, he is sad. Missouri's drinking some coffee. What's wrong? His best friend, Nebraska, kindly asked him. Nebraska is a very kind state. I don't know, moaned Kansas. I just feel bored. All day long, we just sit here in the middle of the country. We never go anywhere, we never do anything, and we never meet any new states. Hmm, said Nebraska. Don't get me wrong, Nebraska. You're the best friend a state could have. But don't you ever want more? Don't you ever want to see what else is out there? Nebraska's thought process. Hmm. 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 Yes, yes I do, Nebraska said excitedly. And now that you mention it, I'm sick and tired of hearing North Dakota and South Dakota bicker all the time. And the bird says, me too. I have a great idea, exclaimed Kansas. Let's have a party and invite all the other states. You know, one of those get-to-know-you deals. Everyone can bring a dish. We could have music and dancing. That's a great idea, shrieked Nebraska. I wish I'd thought of it myself. So with a little help from their neighbors, Missouri and Iowa, those wacky little Midwestern states planned the biggest party ever. They sent out invitations, they blew up balloons, they even hired a band to play. What type of music do you play? Uh-huh. Oh, yes, I love accordions. Oh, good, we'll have accordions at our party. Here's the invitations. This one says, To Connecticut. Connecticut. Hey, how do you spell Connecticut? Nebraska's licking stamps and says, Yuck. At last, the big day came, and little by little, the states arrived at the party. Nebraska and Kansas were on the welcoming committee. Iowa was in charge of coats, and Missouri and Illinois passed out name tags for each state to wear. Wow, those southwestern states can really dance. Allow me. Thank you. Uh, yes, they're divine. Oh, have you tried the Alabama peanut bars? Yes, they're divine. Tennessee says, this is the third time I've dropped my fork. Oh, I just saw yours. Here's all the food. Mmm, I'm hungry. Within minutes after their arrival, the states began making friends with each other. They spent hours talking, laughing, dancing, and singing. It was long into the evening when Idaho and Virginia got up on the stage. 
Excuse me, Idaho said politely. Idaho is a very polite state. Sorry to interrupt, but Virginia and I were just talking, and we thought it might be fun if she and I switched places. You know, so we can see a new part of the country. Yes, Virginia chimed in. Then we thought maybe all of you might want to try it out, too. What do you think? A wave of excitement swept through the room. I feel giddy. Oh, yes. What a grand idea. Makes me want to dance. Hip, hip, hooray. We should have done this years ago. Groovy, baby. They could hardly wait. Immediately, the states made their plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home to pack. Florida and Minnesota are going to switch. Wyoming is going with the bunny. New Mexico is packing. It's taking a cactus. Wisconsin and Nevada and Mississippi. Kansas is running away. It's my pleasure to give you a ride, Washington, D.C. Are you okay in there, Mr. President? <laughs> Maryland's taking Washington, D.C. and all the buildings. It took the better part of the next morning for the states to move to their new spots, but finally they were settled in. All of the states were much happier now that they were by their new neighbors and in a new part of the country. Oh, yes, this was a much better arrangement. Uh-oh, that doesn't really look like the United States anymore when we're supposed to look like this. Ah, that looks like a mess. This says, um, where did Michigan go? What's going on? Hey, we're all blue and we have sparkling white teeth. <laughs> Your islands are so cute. Pennsylvania says, hello, bug. But after a couple of days had passed and all the excitement had died down, the states began to realize that they weren't as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched spots with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty northern climate. And Minnesota, who forgot to buy sunscreen, got an awful sunburn. Oh no. A big hug will make your sunburn feel better. Ouch! Alabama, New York, and Indiana, all of whom took California's place, were bothered by an annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. Probably earthquakes. Arizona, who had traded places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hairdo. Soggy corn. Oh, good. Hey, potato head, scratch my back, will ya? Oh, no. Colorado and Ohio are fighting. Alaska, who had been waiting... Nope. Alaska, who had been wanting a little more interaction with the other states, was irritated by Oklahoma's handle jabbing into his left side and Min Michigan's thumb tickling his right. The penny says, I knew this was a bad idea. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Oh, no, they don't get along. And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of the country, was now stuck in the middle of nowhere, feeling lonesome and seasick. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet like in the good old days. Hawaii's stuck in the middle of South Dakota and Kentucky and West Virginia. And they're all being loud. Well, there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So even faster than they made the first trip, they packed up their things and hit the road. Yes, my name is Illinois, and I'll need an airline ticket to, um, well, Illinois? Mm-hmm. No, the S is silent. California, here I come. Taxi. As the sun set across the country, all of the states from A to W were back in their very own homes. The states were so happy to see their old friends again. They spent the entire evening sharing their new experiences with each other, the good and the bad. Hawaii's happy. Alaska's happy. Everybody else seems pretty happy. I'm not going to read all their talking, but Nebraska says, I almost got eaten by a shark. Hmm. The earth moved. It's good to be home. That night, all the states in the country went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made, but most of all, feeling very thankful to be home. Even Kansas is happy, and the whole country has a happy face. And 
here's all the states and how many people they have in them. I'm not going to read all of them, but I am going to find Missouri in the little corner. Our capital is Jefferson City. We're called the Show Me State. We have 68,945 square miles and 5,103,000 people, at least when this book was written. So that's our story for today, and we live in the lovely state of Missouri, in Jackson, or Cape. I hope you liked the book. I'm going to also put the state song next to this video so that you can watch it too because that song is always stuck in my head and I hope you're having a good day. Bye!